Ultimate Challenger. From Washington, D.C., weighing in at 278 pounds, the Animal Batista. And his opponent, from New Jersey, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Chris. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. So much thought goes into a superstar's entrance as we're witnessing here tonight. Indeed. Good thing we're over here. Ronnie missed that one. God, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Oh man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. And this heartless attack continues. Oh man. This is getting tough to watch. Oh, wow. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Adding insult to potential injury there. This might be it. Suicide dive. Oh my god. Suicide dive. Continental Championship is on the line since 1979. Whoa! That'll leave your neck and head throbbing for weeks. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Here we go. Scaling the turnbuckles. How much damage did that do? A lot from the left. Oh! Watch me. Batista makes him pay for all that. Not going to win many matches with that move. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. One, two, three. We have a new champion. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. You want to talk about crowd pleasing. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. That match was incredible. Here's your winner and the new Intercontinental Champion, the Animal Batista. Oh my gosh, new champion. And will things in the WWE ever be the same again? You're right, I think the entire landscape of the WWE just changed. But let's not forget, we have a new champion. And that'll do it here.